On July 24th, Robert Mueller will testify to Congress. President Trump's allies will try to denigrate his reputation and attack his character. I think Mueller should be fired. He's like a bad penny. He just won't go away. I think the president should have fired Robert Mueller. They'll do so because they want to distract attention from Robert Mueller's report, which describes President Trump's misconduct in office. I'd like to say a word about the person they're planning to try to discredit and about the person they're planning to defend. Robert Mueller and Donald Trump were born less than two years apart in New York City. They attended elite schools, were good high school athletes, and went to Ivy League colleges. But that's where the resemblance ends. In 1968, with the Vietnam War raging, Robert Mueller joined the Marine Corps. He fought in Vietnam and was awarded a Bronze Star for saving the life of one of his Marines. At the same time, Donald Trump received five draft deferments, claiming that he had bone spurs in his feet. Later on in the 1990s, Robert Mueller became a federal prosecutor. He put drug traffickers, corrupt politicians, and terrorists behind bars. At around the same time, Donald Trump's resorts and businesses and casinos declared bankruptcy many times. In 2001, President Bush appointed Mr. Mueller head of the FBI, where for over a decade, he helped protect this country. Meanwhile, Donald Trump started Trump University it conned thousands of people. Lawsuits were filed, asserting that Trump University engaged in a variety of illegal business practices, ranging from false claims to racketeering. Mr. Trump ended up agreeing to pay $25 million in damages. One of these men dedicated his life to serving our country. The other dedicated his life to various schemes to enrich himself. Who has a history of honorable conduct? Who has a record of telling the truth? Robert Mueller does. Donald Trump does not.